Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. In this video, I'll show you how easily you can create an HTML website using a Bolt AI. And the best part is that this is an HTML website. I have downloaded all the files from Bolt AI tool and I uploaded the HTML files to my hosting account. So this demo HTML website is running on my hosting account. So you do not need to create an account on Netlify or any other platform to publish your website created using Bolt AI tool. You can simply download all the HTML files and upload on your own hosting service and publish the website. Let me show you the website here. This is the home page of the website. At the top, we have banner section. Then we have some classes, then call to action and the footer section. If I go to classes, you will see all the classes. If I go to one of the classes, you will see the information about that class. And if I go to contact, you will see the contact information. The content on all the pages is also AI generated. So I have not added any content manually. It is generated by Bolt AI tool. And you can also see the speed of the website. If I click on about page, it is opening that page very quickly. If I go to classes, opening the page instantly. If I go to this one, it is opening instantly. You can see that this website is super fast because it is created using only HTML and CSS. If I go to page speed, you will see the speed of this website is almost 92, which is a great speed. And I was able to create this HTML website in less than one hour. I added a detailed prompt in Bolt AI and it started creating the entire website. So I'll show you what is the detailed prompt that I added in Bolt AI to create this website. So if you want to create a simple HTML website, you can try using Bolt. You can start creating website using free account. In free account, you will get almost 1 million tokens per month. I'm using the pro plan which is $20 per month in which I'm getting 10 million tokens per month and there is no daily token limits. So I'm going to create an HTML website and I'll show you how many tokens it is going to consume to create a simple nine page HTML website so that you will know whether you can create a simple HTML website using the free Bolt AI subscription. And I'll also show you how you can download the HTML files and use those HTML files to publish the website on your own hosting server. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into my Bolt AI account and here first you need to instruct the AI what do you want to build. You need to give as much information as possible and I'll suggest you to write down all the points that you want to be added in your website. How many pages you want in your website? What are the names of the pages? If you are using service pages, then what are the services that you are going to offer on your website? What is the phone number, email address and the physical address? Let's consider if you do not provide the phone number or email address in the first instruction and the AI starts building the website. It will create the first version of your website and later you want to add the phone number and email address on each page of your website. Then the AI is going to edit all the pages again and add the phone number and email address on all the pages by editing all the pages again. And by editing the website again, it is going to consume additional tokens. So here I have created a document with all the instructions. I want to create a nine pages website for a preschool in HTML and CSS. So we are not going to use PHP or Java. It will be a simple HTML and CSS website. The website must be responsive and should work on mobile and desktop. Here is the link to a sample layout which you can use to create a website. So this is a link to the sample layout that I have added. This is one of the Elementor templates kit and I want to use a layout similar to this sample link. So I have added this link in the instruction also. This is the name of the website. I want these four pages and these will be the classes that the school is going to offer. So we are creating a website for the preschool and these are the classes in the preschool. I have also mentioned create separate pages for all the classes. 
create content and related images and put them on all the pages. Here you will see the contact details, phone number, email address and physical address. Add the contact details in the footer section of each page. I have also instructed create hero section on the home page. Add short description about all the classes. Do not add contact form on contact page or any other page. So I do not want to use any contact form on the website because the contact form is not going to send the email if you are not using PHP. So it will need PHP or other platform to use the actual contact form. Then next point is I want SEO optimized content for all the pages. And I have also instructed use the same colors that is on this sample layout. The website must be in HTML and CSS so that I can download all the files and upload them to my Hostinger server. I'm going to upload this website on Hostinger. Then I want a top bar above the header section and in the top bar I want phone number, email address. In the right hand side I want to add social media icons, Facebook, Twitter and YouTube and I have also mentioned the links to all these social media platforms. So these are the instructions that I'm going to add. So let's copy all the instructions and let's go back to board AI and paste all the instructions. So this is going to be the first prompt that we are going to use. At the bottom, you will see upload files. If you want to upload any file, you can upload a file. And this is enhance prompt. So I'm going to click on it and it is going to enhance the prompt. It will create its own prompt Let's copy the prompt that is AI generated and let's see what is in the prompt. Create a professional website structure, create nine separate HTML files and you will see which files to be created. Implement responsive design, required elements, component, global component, all pages need top bar. These are the instructions for the top bar, then footer. All pages will have the same footer. Home page will have hero section overview of all classes, a brief description, call to action button. These are the class pages. Then we have technical requirements, pure HTML5 and CSS3 implementation, no contact form, downloadable file structures for hosting and deliverable will be all the HTML files, CSS, image assets, documentation for file structure. Let's go back and let's start building. Uh, here you will see the prompt that we have used and it says it is thinking it may take 5 to 10 minutes to create the first version of the website. Here you will see what it is doing in the background core features, 9 separate HTML pages, professional preschool branding with engaging visuals, modern typography and we have perfect preschool HTML and CSS website create initial files it is now creating files so it has now started creating pages the first page will be index.html so i'm going to pause the video here and i'll wait for the first version of the website before that let me show you the tokens that i have here i have 9.4 million tokens out of 10 millions and we will see how many tokens it is going to use to create this website so i'm going to pause the video now all right, so the first version of the website is ready. There were some errors and the AI has already fixed the errors automatically and it has created the first version. So this is how the website will look. Let's open this in a separate window. Click on connect to project so that we can see the website on the desktop itself. So this is how the website will look. This does not look good at the top. So we need to fix that. Then we have explore classes, which will go to classes page. And on the classes page, we have five classes you will see the content is also added if i click on it it will go to that class page and the information about the class page is also there you can customize this information you can instruct the ai to make changes to the pages let's say you do not want to show the daily schedule on the class pages then you can instruct the bolt ai to remove daily schedule from all the class pages now we need to fix this issue phone icon and the email address in the top bar it is using some images which uh, I think from the 
pixels yes this is from pixels.com so these are the demo images used from pixels.com now what we will do we will upload some images and we will ask a bolt ai to use the images that we are going to upload create a folder for the images and save the images inside the folders so the images will not be linking to third party website let's go to other page about us classes page is working properly contact page is messed up so we need to instruct that the contact page does not look good so let's add the instruction here so i have downloaded some images from pexels.com and i'm going to use these images on the website and we are going to instruct the bolt ai which image is going to be used for different classes for example here i'm going to use hero dash section dot jpg for the hero section image this is the one then we have after school dot jpg for after school class for this one so i have that instruction here and i'm going to upload the file these are the images so i'm going to upload all these images all right you can only upload maximum of five files okay let's enter you will see five files are also added and now it is thinking all right so it says i have added the following files to the project now it is going to take some time to fix the errors all right so it has made some changes and i still see the header is not yet fixed the phone number and the email address does not look good in top bar so what i'll do i'll ask it to remove the phone number and email address from the top bar then you can see that the image has been replaced it has used the image that we uploaded infants image is there toddler image is not uploaded we will upload the toddler image the pre-primary and the primary images are same we can upload different images for the pre-primary and primary classes so i'm going to skip it for now i'll add the toddler's page let's open it in a new tab so this needs to be fixed the images are fixed we will upload the toddler's image this section is good if i go to contact contact page still not looking good this will show the map however we do not have the actual address that's why it is not showing the correct map so i'm going to ask the bolt to fix the contact page and remove the top bar section and from the contact page i'll ask to remove all the columns and use a single column all right let's enter all right so here is a new version of the website at the top it has removed the phone number and email address only the social media icons are there and it definitely shows the link which we added for the social media then we have home page i forgot to add the toddler's image so i'll add that later now let's go to contact and the contact page is also looking good let's open it in another tab connect to project all right so this is how the home page will look if i go to classes all the classes are there if i click on learn more it will go to that class page the image is used and you will see the information about that particular class let's go to contact page and that issue is fixed now the contact information is in the right hand column this one also looks good and the footer section and in the footer section we have the contact information quick links and some information about the preschool let's go back to home so i think this version looks good for an html website if i go to a responsive mode this is how the responsive website will look let's click on it go to home page so this is how the home page will look on the mobile devices we have social media icons at the top this is the business name this is the menu if i click on it it is opening the menu i can go to classes it will show the classes page let's go to home page this one also looks good so only the toddler's image is not showing up because we have not uploaded the image let's click on it and this is how the desktop will look let's go to code option here and you will see the structure of the files under images you will see all the images that we uploaded this is the index.html file 
if i go to infants.html you will see the title and the description for that page so everything looks good we can try downloading the website so let's go to preview and you will see an option here export and download so i'm going to download all the files and save it on the desktop now let's go to desktop this is the file let's unzip it and if i open it you will see a project there and under project you will see all the files that we can use to upload the website on the hosting server so i'm going to create a zip file for this project and we are going to upload this zip file on hosting server so i'm using the hostinger hosting server and i have created a blank website on the hostinger and now we are going to upload the files on the hostinger server so if I go to file manager, this is how the file manager will look. Let's go to public HTML and under public HTML folder, you need to upload the file that we created. So I'm going to go to file, go to desktop. We have a zip file here. That is the project one. Open it and it is uploaded. Now let's unzip it. Right click and extract. We need to specify the location where you want this to be extracted so i'm going to select public html extract and this is where it is extracted now we need to open all the files and move them or copy them to the public html you can move the files or you can copy and paste it to the public html folder copy it so all the files will be in the public HTML folder. This is the zip file and this is the unzipped file. All the other files are there. Now if I open the website, you will see the HTML website that we created. So you can easily download the HTML files and upload it on your hosting server. So if I go to contact, you will see the contact page about, you will see the about page classes. You will see all the classes. Still, we do not have toddler's image. You can upload the toddler's image. Let's go to public HTML, go to images, and I'm going to upload the file here. I have all the images here, so I'm going to upload that file, toddlers.image. Let's see if that appears on the website. And you will see that image is there. If I go to class, you will see the information about the class. Now let's see what is the speed of this website. Let's go to Google Page Speed Insights and enter the URL. On the mobile, it has a speed of 78. Accessibility is good. Best practices is also good. SEO is also good. Let's go to desktop and for the desktop, the speed is 92, which is I think really a good speed for an HTML website. Now let's go back to Bolt AI and let's see how many tokens it has used to create this simple nine page HTML website. So if I go to settings, you will see it has used almost 700,000 tokens for a single website. When we started, there were 9.4 million tokens available. Now there are only 8.7 million tokens available after creating this HTML website. So if you are using a free plan, you may not be able to create the entire website in a single day because there is a limit of 150K daily tokens. However, if you go for a pro plan, you will be able to create a simple HTML website in less than 1 million tokens. Apart from HTML websites, you can also create different web applications in Bolt AI. So in future, I'll create more videos on what web applications you can create using Bolt AI. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.